club that he's had here at Gonzaga. Starting five for Illinois, Brandon Paul, the senior, one of the greats in Illinois history, playing very well at a career high 43 last year against Ohio State, who was the MVP of the EA Sports Maui Invitational. For 10th rank Gonzaga, change for the Zags, Kelly Olenek coming off a of career best 22 in the second half against Washington State on Wednesday night, gets the start tonight here for the Bulldogs. With you. And Stephen, Gonzaga built an 11 point lead early. Illinois was on the ropes. This place was going bonkers. But they fought their way back in the game. How did the Fighting Illini get back into this one? Well, Illinois has the benefit of supreme guard play, and we saw that through Brandon and Paul. But the real story was turnovers. Illinois' hands became more active. Midway through the first half, they were able to come up with steals and easy transition points, which got their offense going. And then it kept staying active, going after loose balls. There were a number of tie-ups by Tracy Abrams and, and Brandon Paul able to get their hands in and call turnovers. And then they were aggressive going to the hole. The Illini riding their backcourt to the, to the first half tie. There's some numbers for the first half. Brandon Paul leading all scorers in the game. And 16 points off turnovers for the Fighting Illini. While well, Gonzaga building an 11 point lead early, did out rebound Illinois. And Gonzaga shot 61% for the field in the first half, but they did not hit a field goal the final 740 of the opening half of the play. That is 13 of 15 for the line tonight. They're taking care of business on the line, and they're going to need it. Mike Henry off the bench, and Illinois leads for the first time tonight. A nice set play by the Illini, some misdirection. Skip pass, and Michael Henry does what Michael Henry does best, and that's shoot the basketball. Kelly Olenek drives the key and lays it in. Wow, Kelly Olenek treated DJ Richardson like a ball-headed brother right there going to the hole. And Illinois answers and one for the Fighting Illini. the Illini and how Mike Henry, there's a horns action. And so the bigs at the elbows crisscross, they bring the ball to the right side, they slide Michael Henry behind the defense, he's wide open from the wing. Excellent offensive execution in the half court set. Plus one free throw goes for Tracy Abrams and Illinois by two, nearly a minute into the second half. First foul against Kelly Olenek of Gonzaga. And now the Illini start switching defenses once again. Harris the flush. Nice adjustment by Mark Few and his staff there watching, putting Kelly Olenek at the free throw line. Tracy Abrams drives his feet as they need to practice their free throw. A steal, Kevin Pangus missing the layup, but it's cleared by Brandon Paul. Man, Pangos, great anticipation on the steal. Unable to cash in. Here's Tracy Abrams skipping into the key. D.J. Richardson for three. Getting back to the first half. So the Illini are really cooking offensively. 7-2 run for Illinois. And nine straight wins for John Gross to start his tenure at Illinois. you got to go back to 1907-08 with Fletcher Lane. He started at 12-0. But 11 of those wins came against the YMCA. <laughs> Not saying they can't play some ball down the Y. What? They yeah, count that back then? It's stiffer for John Gross, I think. Okay. No doubt about it. Let's see if Gonzaga can adjust and get involved on the offensive end. Here's Key Landry Eddy. Got off of the baseline. Olenek inside. Kick out. Kevin Panga sets up. Too strong on the three. Olenek keeps it alive. But then throws it into the backcourt where Gary Bell Jr. runs it down and a turnover against the Zags. I think that was the right call right now. The back. Bjorn Kelly Borg Lennon. look on a taller dude. He would have lost that ball on the offensive rebound before. He's strong enough. A little bit before that, he got an offensive rebound or got the ball to put up in a point of his hand. He was able to maintain control. That redshirt year, huge for Kelly O'Leary. Such a crowded front court last year for Gonzaga. Part of the reason why Kelly Olenek redshirted a year ago. Sam McLaurin backs down against Olenek. Nice footwork. Fade away. See all that? 
cleared by Elias Harris and Gonzaga. This is what makes Elias Harris so dangerous to start the break. Olenek has it stripped underneath, and Illinois comes away with Get it. Get that ball. <laughs> Turnovers have really been an issue for the Zags tonight. Brandon Paul Oof. hits the pull-up jumper. The quickness of the Illini, especially on the perimeter, really calls fits for Gonzaga handling the basketball just like that. Here's Olenek. Yes, I had the easy job of defending and getting the basketball to the guys can really do something with it. And, oh, my gosh, they still got film from that time. It is filmed and not on a <laughs> DVD these days. Yeah, but, that was, you know, I, I've really benefited from being on such a spectacular ball club. And it was something that really affected the state of our style of play, the guys on that team. And it was really fun to be a part of. That's a pretty good five right there that can go up against anybody that you were a part of. Yeah, this, those guys, Nick Anderson, Kendall Gill went on. Kendall played 15 years. Nick had 14 years in the NBA. And just a special group that is still talked about in the state of Illinois. Kenny Battle was a tough player, too. Yeah, he might have been the most popular nightmare for the Illini right now. That ended a drought of over six minutes for Gonzaga. D.J. Richardson rattles out the three. Elias Harris clears. Zags push it. Gary Bell Jr. a three. Zags 73-67. Inside five minutes to go, and Brandon Paul having a tremendous night here in Spokane. Hear about a lot of players in the Big Ten. Cody Zeller at Indiana. Trey Burke at Michigan. But Brandon Paul has to be in that category of the better players, not only the Big Ten, but around the country. The stat sheet tells it all. He's touched every area of the game. So you see those numbers there, but he also has three steals, three assists, and two blocks. Brandon Paul, a tremendous turn the corner, get past Harris. And that, with the English at the end, that's a big time play. One of many that we've seen from Brandon Paul this evening. Brandon Paul gets the three-point play. 78-71. Rattles out the three. No touch. It's cleared by DJ Richardson. And when you settle for threes like that, Roxy, again, you don't put any pressure on the defense. So they've been getting to the free throw line. And their bigs have been successful, but they didn't have an opportunity that time. Last year, another Big Ten team came into the kennel and knocked off Gonzaga. Draymond Green had 34 in a Michigan State win here over the Zags. So you're noticing a pattern. The better players have to come in here and have career nights in order to win. Brandon oh. Paul again! Stick a fork in it, time. 3 for the senior. Kevin Pangos. And a goal ten on the Because of the, the games that they played, the competition they played, but they have stepped up huge tonight. Olenek missing a three. And the rebound, Tracy Abrams, the final 30 seconds as Illinois will come to Spokane and hand the Zags their first loss of the season. And Illinois will go to 10-0. Now, see, here's something refreshing for a change. Mark Hughes said, okay, enough. They've handled Stop playing the foul game. You know, you've lost. That's it. Second half. Which more coaches, I'm sure you do too as well, would do this. Final five seconds, Illinois undefeated. Gonzaga suffers their first setback as the fight. And we're clear. Thanks for watching.